This team was uh, very unique. It's a pretty young team. We graduated five seniors last year, and this team was the most fun, laid back, you know, but hardworking group of people that I've ever worked with. It was good to see us progress throughout the year, and that was what was exciting, to see how these younger kids could kind of step up in the ways that they did towards the end of the season and make a difference, and I think those, they were the biggest difference towards the end. The goal was, by the end of the year, to try to get better, and we did. Uh, we won a couple big games during the season. We were 4-8 and eight at one point. We beat a couple teams that were better than us, but we beat almost every team that was either even with us or we were better than which we, which we had to do to get to 16 wins. For me this season, uh, my favorite moment would have to be at Butler. We came back from 22 points down, but we were able to make a really good run. The fact that Alex got us into the overtime on a foul for a, for a three-point shot was nuts. I've never seen anything like that in basketball, so it was pretty funny. Overall, my favorite moment was playing at Indiana just because of the feel and how many people were there and the vibe that we got. And it was a tough game, close game the entire time, but it was an all-around team effort and we got, when we got the win, it was like a really good feeling. A, a young team shouldn't go 4-0 in overtime, but we were able to do so, which, which made me really excited because we had to win those games to get over 500. And those two games impressed me. I mean, I, that, that weekend and the weekend before that, when we won at St. John's and at Seton Hall, basically pushed us in, into the postseason. And it was, they were pressure-packed games. And I was just excited to see them play well. So senior night is something that you dream of as a player from the time that you commit to your potential college university. My parents were with me, I had my mother and my father. Just walking out, I was full of a lot of emotions because like me, I'm very reflective and I, I just think about all the people that have got me here, all the sacrifices that they've made for me to be in this position of blessing and I, I was just so thankful. I expected to be emotional and like seeing some of my teammates, you know, cry or get choked up definitely like showed me that like why I chose to come here. Blessed that like I got to play with them bless that for everything that Villanova has offered me and you, those things start going through your head. Senior night was so much fun. I had a lot of people there who were there to support me, my friends, my family, um, to walk out with my parents who have had so many senior nights over the years with my siblings and, and it was just really, really special. Then on top of it, I got to play for four minutes all because there wasn't a whistle blown for four minutes, so Adriana couldn't come in and sub me out and I jacked up three shots and it was the most fun I've ever had. The game itself was a really crazy weekend. First of all, it was the second game of that weekend and it was the second overtime of that weekend. So it was just really high intensity energy the whole game. Everyone was highly involved in just another example of the way the team was able to overcome adversity. Well, as a group, I, th I thought our senior class did a good job. I mean, I, I saw them a lot of times before practice, get everybody in a huddle, talk to them, tell them how it was gonna be on the road, how to talk to the freshmen about, hey, this is what it's going to be like when we play at this gym, and this is what it's going to be like. They were really good at communicating those type of things to the rest of the team. Going into the postseason, you usually have a mindset like our offense usually prepares us for teams that are not used to seeing us, so we usually have a decent run at NIT, but for some reason, like, we just kept going. We had a pretty good win against Princeton. It wasn't the prettiest game. Then we went to Drexel, who is a team that's a lot like us. And then we went down to JMU, going into overtime with them, which was another crazy ending to another game. It was a huge win for us. And we kind of all looked around at each other like, what just happened? Is this really happening? Then we went to Indiana. They had close to 6,000 people at Indiana. So, and we won in both those environments, which I thought was really good wins for us. Uh, the bond among the team, I think this year is one of the strongest like type of communal elements that we had in program and I think that it's getting stronger the longer people are starting to be here and like it was a young team like this season was full of a lot of young players and stuff like that but moving forward like they have a lot of playing experience and stuff so I think I think they'll be uh, prepared for the future. Coming and joining this team has completely changed my life, completely changed my college career and what I've decided to do with my life. And I mean, I could not be more thankful and happier for what the basketball has given me. 
You come into college like expecting a lot. You're playing Division I basketball and it's exciting. There's always obstacles, like injuries and other things, and those are hard. With this program and with our team, seeing how everyone can help you through it, that was definitely like a good experience for me. I think that my experience here was full of a lot of high points as well as, uh, I wouldn't consider them low points, but just things that forced me to like grow, uh, I think individually and as a team. There's a lot of moments throughout my career well, that I would consider to be defining moments that taught us a lot about each other and about ourselves.